The story starts with Bob, a former hockey player who works in the lumber industry. He lives apart from his ex-wife, Darlene, who has remarried. They have a teenage daughter, Eva, who is often rebellious and has a bad relationship with her parents. Darlene's new husband tries to care for Eva, but struggles with her rebellious behavior. One day, Bob feels stomach pain at work and leaves early. At home, he ignores a call from Darlene. Bob's involvement in Eva's life is limited to sending financial support. In the evenings, Bob drinks and smokes to escape his depressing life. He notices his skin becoming transparent. He goes to a bar and meets Nelson, a drug dealer working for a man named Crispy. Bob buys drugs from Nelson. The next day, Bob considers suicide at work, but instead quits his job. He packs his things and sets off to visit Darlene and Eva. On the way, a pain in his ribs causes him to crash his truck. Despite his injuries, Bob walks to a diner and calls Nelson for help. Nelson informs Crispy about Bob's situation. In the diner's restroom, Bob sees his wound worsening, with his skin becoming more transparent. Crispy arrives, offering to help. He arranges for Bob's truck to be repaired and asks Bob to deliver a package to cover the repair costs. Bob agrees, and they go to the garage. The next day, Crispy goes hunting and kills a bear, retrieving something from its body. He wakes Bob, gives him the package, and takes his picture. Bob is told to keep the ice in the package topped up. As Bob drives, he stops for gas and notices blood leaking from the package, realizing it contains an animal organ. He arrives at Darlene's house, and although she is glad to see him, he keeps his distance. She informs him that Eva will be home later, and he agrees to wait. The next day, Eva finds Bob playing hockey. They talk, but Bob says something hurtful, causing Eva to leave. Bob then delivers the package to two men involved in the illegal organ trade. They give him another package for Crispy and some Chinese medicine for his pain. Back home, Bob talks with Eva, who begins to understand his situation. She talks about her grandfather, and Bob reveals that he tragically ended his life. Eva visits a Chinese herbal store, where the owner, Mo Wing, helps her with herbal tea. Eva meets her friends, including her best friend Amelia, and they plan to visit a mental institution despite Amelia not being happy with the idea. Once they arrive, they sneak inside and explore the corridors. One of them jokes about ghosts, which the others mock. They find an underground staircase leading to a deep basement. While exploring, they encounter what looks like a ghost covered with sheets. Terrified, they scream, but it quickly disappears increasing their fear. Amelia, horrified, tries to leave, using Ava's hand to get up and accidentally revealing Eva's invisible arm. The group realizes Eva is experiencing the same invisibility symptoms as her father. Amelia screams and demands Eva leave. If you ever thought how cool it would be to be invisible, subscribe to the channel. Meanwhile, an officer arrives and yells at the kids for trespassing. They all run out except Eva, who stays behind and witnesses the officer being taken by the supposed ghost. Elsewhere, Bob and Darlene catch up on the past eight years of Eva's life. Bob desperately wants to reconnect with his daughter, but is constantly disappointed by past issues. At night, Darlene's husband finds Bob sleeping on the sofa and disapproves of his presence, but Bob has his reasons for staying. In the morning, they discover Eva didn't come home last night and is missing. This stirred up old issues with the family, and Darlene decided to report her missing. Her husband offers to go with her, leaving Bob alone. Bob searches Eva's room, finds his old hockey shirt and a picture of him playing, and realizes his daughter still cares about him. While searching, he finds some weed and a phone in her drawers. Ignoring the weed, he takes the phone to a repair store. After repairing the phone, he returns home to show Darlene. They discover a group chat where the friends discuss visiting the mental hospital. This gives them a lead, so they go to Amelia's house first. Amelia's drunk father gives a little information there, only that Amelia is also missing. They visit Eva's other friends. Bob receives a call from Crispy asking for updates. Bob tells him he has delivered the package and received the return, but quickly hangs up. 
Bob questions the boys about Eva, and one admits they split up while running from the hospital, but doesn't know where she is. He mentions that Eva talked about her grandfather being admitted to the hospital, leading Bob to believe that Eva is obsessed with the story. Bob and Darlene head to the mental institution, but a guard stops them. Bob fights the guard and enters without permission, demanding to know if anyone has seen the girl in the picture. Unable to control him, the guard tases Bob. Darlene learned about Bob's condition from a doctor, who informed her that they needed to restrain him for a while. The guard escorts her out, leaving her in disbelief. Meanwhile, Bob has flashbacks of his childhood, recalling his father's time in the same mental institution. The same doctor who diagnosed his father offers to help Bob, inviting him to see his father's old room. It's revealed that Bob's father also experienced the invisibility symptoms and was traumatized by the doctor's experiments on him. Initially hesitant, Bob agrees to stay. That night, he finds his room door open, with his wallet and keys on the desk, and escapes. He meets a rock star, buys a do-rag to cover his partially disappearing face, and heads to Darlene's house. Darlene's husband sees him and tells him to leave the family alone. Just then, the phone rings for Bob. It's Crispy, threatening him to deliver the package. Bob insists on finding his daughter first and tells Crispy to wait. Crispy, unhappy with the answer, threatens to stalk the family. Bob angrily tells him to shove it where the sun doesn't shine and hangs up. Darlene's husband overhears and freaks out, leaving the room. Shortly after, Eva's repaired phone receives a message from Amelia, apologizing for her behavior in the basement and expressing fear of her father. Bob, thinking Amelia is being abused, confronts her father but is stopped by Amelia, who explains it's not like that. Amelia tells Bob what happened in the hospital basement and gives him Eva's forgotten bag, which contains the same medicine Bob received from Crispy's business partner. Bob sneaks to the business partner's garage at night, confronting him about Eva. The man, claiming he wouldn't harm kids, explains that the medicine is herbal tea from a Chinese store and directs Bob there. Meanwhile, Eva is dealing with a serious injury. Her body is gradually turning invisible and she is at the Chinese doctor's office undergoing treatment. The saleswoman assured her that they would heal her illness. That's why she told Amelia she had a prescription for it. Following this clue, Bob heads to a traditional store in Chinatown. His condition is also worsening. After a detailed search, he finds the store, and upon entering, he asks the saleswoman if she has seen the girl in the photo, but she remains silent. However, she recognized the doctor clearly and some men welcomed Eva to the back room to proceed with the operation. Bob notices her hesitation, and when he looks outside, he sees Eva's bike at the door. Concluding the woman is misleading him, he desperately removes his bandages and hat to reveal his terrifying appearance. Half of his skull is almost partially visible, and the woman asks him what kind of person he is. Feeling fear and regret, the woman reveals that the doctors are only willing to help and that they are good people. She then shows him the doorway and he heads inside. There, he finds two men mixing bloody samples. One of the ingredients is the organ he brought from Crispy. He quickly asks where his daughter is, and the men, terrified of his appearance, attack him. Bob fights them off effectively, but one of them stabs him, causing pain even without visible flesh. Eva hears the noise and screams, giving Bob hope. He punches the men unconscious and heads for his daughter. He finds her in a cage next to the doctor operating on her. Eva sees his exposed, invisible body and reacts with fear, but he calms her down after freeing her. He keeps apologizing, but sees a wound on her shoulder. Thinking the doctor caused it, he turns to him, ready to attack. Eva stops him, he drops the knife, and they leave the store with the herbal tea from the saleswoman. Once home, Bob passes out before getting inside. The girls help him to the sofa, revealing his half-missing ribs, shocking Darlene. She learns Bob got his symptoms from his father and realizes Eva is also turning invisible. The next day, Bob decides to deliver Crispy's package, but he can't drive, so Eva offers to take him. After some hesitation, her parents agreed. He promises to make up for lost time, and she starts to believe him when she finds her pictures in his truck. Near the city, Bob asks her to pull over to meet Nelson. 
Eva helps him cover his disappearing face with foundation before he gives Nelson the package for Crispy. They get to Bob's home, and Eva makes herbal tea for him. They bond and joke around. He assures her she can live there peacefully. Elsewhere, Crispy opens the package and finds screws and nails instead of money, realizing he's been tricked. The next day, Eva goes to a store for supplies. When she returns, she lies on her father's shoulder, who is almost entirely invisible. They bond, but Bob brings up issues. One night, he decides to leave, feeling his condition is irreversible, despite Eva's pleas. The next day, Crispy shows up at Bob's door. He threatens Eva with a shotgun, demanding to know where Bob is. Eva lies, saying Bob sold the house to her, but Crispy doesn't believe her. Just as Crispy plans to harm her, something throws him aside. His rifle disappears, and he is punched repeatedly. Eva realizes it's her invisible dad. Bob demands Crispy to leave his family alone and strangles him to death. Eva approaches where her father is, and he confesses he couldn't leave her again and will always be with her. They dump Crispy's body at the bear site, where a bear devours it. Later, Eva visits the local store for supplies with her invisible dad in the passenger seat. He advises her to drink the magic tea. He confesses he secretly followed her to school when she was six, just as his own invisible dad helped him in the mental hospital. Eva remembers the ghostly figure from the basement. The film ends with the duo deciding to look for Bob's invisible dad. Bob puts on his seatbelt, and Eva starts the engine. And with this, the movie ends. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe and support the channel. Thank you for watching, and we will see you in the next episode.